Hey guys, and welcome back. Elizabeth here, and I am going to show you my green juice recipe today. I am trying to juice every single day in July. I'm gonna see the benefits and see if I like it. So I'm gonna show you green juice. I will even show you turmeric and ginger tea in our little morning routine. So come along with me, let's do it. First thing. All right, so every morning I've been trying to start the day with water. I think that's one of the best practices you can do, keep you hydrated and refresh you after a long night's sleep. So I've been just using a water bottle that I can take around with me. My husband was nice enough to give me his old one. Thank you, Chase. And um, I just put water, I put ice in it. It tends to keep it cold. It makes me actually enjoy drinking it and having lemon. Lemon has so many benefits, but it also tastes delicious and helps me to drink it. So just carrying this throughout the day, I find that I drink more water. So check it out. Number two. All right, so one of my absolute favorite things to have in the morning besides our water is turmeric and ginger tea. It's seriously so delicious. It's from Trader Joe's. Um, I really specifically like this one because of the ingredients. So it has turmeric and ginger, but the difference maker would be the licorice and the orange peel and orange oil. So make sure whatever turmeric and ginger tea, if you don't get the one from Trader Joe's or there's one at Walmart that's like the exact same ingredients, it's a little more expensive, um, but it's organic Great Valley brand, turmeric and ginger tea. Um, they're so delicious and I really specifically love this one and have loved it for years. Um, it also has organic black pepper in it, which helps activate the curcumin that's in it. It has all those properties for anti-inflammation, relieving pain, stress, anxiety, helping prevent cancer, etc. So we love this tea. It's delicious and I have it every day. And then if you're interested, this is the box. It's organic ginger and turmeric herbal tea. It's cheaper at um, Trader Joe's than Walmart. It's about $2.50, something like that. And we love it. I usually use two tea bags. It gives extra flavor and extra intensity. And I love having it throughout the day. Number three. Part of our morning routine is also making sure we have our vitamins and our supplements. And it is essential. So a lot of people want to know what do vegans take? What do plant-based people take? What's required? Um, there's lots of recommendations from doctors and dietitians, but specifically what we do and what we follow is we have our B12. So that's typically what is number one recommended for any vegan. Um, and we love my kind organics garden of life it has all whole food ingredients so we have organic beet and parsley and gourd and celery and cherry asparagus so it's making sure that you get everything you need but from whole foods so we eat whole foods throughout the day but maybe we're not having beet or asparagus or making it's just a safeguard to make sure you're getting everything you need we also have D3, which is typically recommended. These two are often recommended for anyone, meat eaters or plant eaters alike. Um, having a EPA DHA, which you might recognize as fish oil, um, or a D3 and or. So instead of fish oil, we have algae oil, which is actually where the fish get their oil, um, get it from. So the fish oil, the, the benefits come from the fish eating the algae. So we go straight to the source and get the algae oil. Um, Anne actually really likes it. Sometimes they have a little bit of that sea, sea taste, um, but he drinks it and eats it no problem. Um, they're sublingual, you can put underneath the tongue and you just spray right in, super easy. Um, and the D3, it's beautiful, it's sunny outside, but this is typically one that's recommended if you live in a court colder climate or if you struggle with your mood and it's just excellent to make sure that you have a lot of these things are just a safeguard and that's why we add them in and lastly we have our kids multivitamin gummy we use my kind organics they're a little bit expensive um, but it's because they're such good quality it's all whole food ingredients again um, raspberries sunflower seeds moringa um, so many holy basil and Ian loves them. He actually didn't want to take the gummies at first. It was kind of funny. It's like, this is the good stuff. He's like, he'll eat broccoli and whatever, but want to take a gummy. <laughs> um, but we let him grab one after he gets his sprays, boop, boop, boop. And we just give him one gummy. So um, I hope that's helpful to you. That's just what we do for now. I'll definitely update you if we change anything. Number four, green juice time. All right, so for our green juice recipe, so I'm just gonna show a little overview. 
So basically what you need are greens. So we have blossomato kale, um, you can use spinach, you can use regular kale, it's totally up to you, whatever dark green leafies you want. We also love adding herbs, so parsley um, and cilantro. I know you might be like, what? Why would you add that in? But honestly, that's why you can start with the beginner juice and then you can continually add and you'll notice um, the benefits and it you can add fruit to make it still taste sweet because that's what I was worried about. How am I going to get those greens in? It's going to taste so gross. But if you start yourself off with those beginner juices and eventually start adding more greens, you really don't notice the taste, at least for me. So you put those dark leafy greens. We also I highly, highly recommend adding uh, celery in and also cucumber. So you always want to add that celery and cucumber, very hydrating and a great base for the juice. So even the, that's what the beginner juice starts with is cucumber and celery. Um, and then you can add those greens as you feel comfortable. Um, another key is adding lemon or lime or both. It's up to you. Um, so you can add these things in. You just need to cut them and pop them in and they taste so, so good. So very, very good additions. And then finally, to sweeten it up, you want to add some green apple. So three to four apples, depending on your taste and how you are with the smoothies. Sorry, the juices. Um, you could add some oranges. I haven't had to yet. I've added pineapple. So pineapple and apple are the keys to making it sweet and enjoyable because if you just have the greens and you're just starting out, you might not enjoy it. So it's up to you. Go with what works for you, add or subtract. Um, we also add turmeric and ginger in. I can show you those. And this juice seriously tastes phenomenal. All right, so if you don't have a juicer, that's okay. Right now, before investing in one, I wanted to try just using my blender but you can use this tool, it's a little strainer, or you can use a cheesecloth and you'll end up blending up the juice in your blender. And then I take a bowl and I will put the strainer over and I'll just pour some juice in and then I'll usually take, let's see, you can't find it, but a little spoon or something and you'll just push all the press and press all the juice out. And that's how you'll get the juice. You can dump the pulp in the trash can and you're good to go. So the cheesecloth works too. You just would pour the juice in the cheesecloth and you'll pull and strain it out. And then you'll end up with juice. So check it out. Um, people recommend 32 ounces of juice to start the day. Um, it definitely depends. You can just add it in along with your other meals like oatmeal, tofu scramble, um, lentil wraps, quinoa, all, whatever you're eating, you can add it in or just have it to start the day and then see how you feel. That's kind of what I've been doing is having my water and then my tea, turmeric and ginger, and then taking my green juice and then going from there and having meals accordingly. So it's totally up to you. I know nutrition is um, a very personal subject. So I'm just sharing what works for me and in hopes that it can help you. So, um, cause I'm grateful for other people who have shared their information and journey with me. So I hope it can help you. So that's it for today. I hope that this was helpful for you. Um, please let me know if you would like to see more videos like this. Um, if you want more videos about food and greens and the benefits or recipes, um, or just lessons that I've learned and financial information, just let me know what you want. Put it in the comments below. Feel free to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want more videos like this. So thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy your green juice. Let me know what you put in it and what you like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. So good.